They come into intensive care very sick, being treated for a critical illness. And doctors now know many leave with long-term cognitive impairment. So they came in with a problem that was a neck down issue. They left with this new problem, which was a neck up issue. In a newly released brain ICU study published in the New England Journal of Medicine, Vanderbilt researchers determined that 74% of patients studied developed delirium, a predictor of developing a dementia-like brain disease. Hold up this many fingers. Very good. Even more startling, the study of more than 800 ICU patients found that 40% of the patients had symptoms similar to moderate traumatic brain injury. 26% had symptoms similar to Alzheimer's, even several months after their hospital stay. Most strikingly, we found that even if you were a young person, 30 and 40 years old, and even if you had no pre-existing illnesses, you came into a medical or surgical ICU, those young people and the older people aren't able to think clearly, their memory is impaired, they're not able to organize the way that they're thinking. This is uh, a real significant problem in their life from the ability of day-to-day -day living. Researchers say at least some of this brain injury may be prevented. And squeeze my hands. So we think we should use less sedation, have them more awake and alert, and earlier to walk in the ICU, even on the ventilator. And doctors say doing brain exercises once released from the hospital will help. We have some early evidence to say that you can build their brain back by using cognitive rehabilitation. When the patients get well enough to get out of the ICU, we're putting them through brain exercises like Sudoku and Scrabble that can help them get that cognitive function, that memory rebuilt so they can get on with their life. We consider survival a successful outcome and it is a successful outcome but I think the second part to this is making sure we get them back to where they were prior to them coming to the ICU. The greater the duration of delirium, the worse your outcomes. So every day matters. In Nashville, Barb Kramer reporting.